Well, welcome back to the channel, and this is my review of the uh, Steel Dive Marine Engineer Automatic 300 meter Homage Watch to Seco. And uh, here she is. This is my baby. This is what I bought for myself at Christmas time. As you can see there, I bought the one with the gold, uh, gold dial, gold looking dial. It's very flash. Very nice watch. You see there, I've got the engineer bracelet on this. If I uh, get it up close there, you can see it's got the Steel Dive logo on the bottom of the bracelet. Very nice. I'll take it off. Uh, I bought this in uh, Christmas. I think it cost me about £135 UK. Um, I thought I'd, uh, I saw reviews of this on some other channels, and um, yeah, I just love the look of it. It's got like the big tuner case on it. Let's see if that focuses in. Very nice. I don't know if you can see. But on the crown, it's got the steel dive emblem on printed on the crown. Now this has, uh, I'll just hold that up there so you can see. This has got the uh, the dome sapphire crystal glass on it. I don't know if it will show up on the camera, but there is a, a, a slight dome to the glass on the top there. Very nice. It uh, uses the Seiko NH35A automatic movement. So it's uh, got Seiko movement, movement, and I've had no issues with it so far. When I wind it up, it works. When I have it on my wrist, it keeps time well. And I've had no issues whatsoever. And as you can see there, we have a uh, 120 click rotational uh, uh, ceramic bezel. And it's uh, got Super Luminova green and uh, blue loom on it. So the... Uh, Inside on the outside is blue and on the inside is green and again Let's see if that uh, focuses in come on. There we go Yeah, nice and bright doesn't take much to uh, Put it under a torch or whatever or under the light and then uh, it gives it, it lasts for us a short while. It's not too bad It's pretty good um, As I said there Just turn that round on the bottom of the bracelet Come on focus in There we go Bottom of the bracelet, you can see there, it's got the steel dive stamp on the bottom and the logo, very flash. It's 300 meter water resistance. I have uh, not put that to the test. I am uh, not currently scuba diving, so uh, I can't say that I've actually put that to the test. Um, I'm guessing that it will. <laughs> but uh, as I said, I haven't put that to the test yet. It's got a uh, screw down case back on the bottom as per Get my face out of the picture as per and, uh, and as you can see um, it's got the steel dive logo stamped on the bottom just like the uh, like the Seacos do very smart uh, what else so um, the case diameter is uh, 47.5 millimeters quite quite a big watch quite a hefty watch as well 210 grams that's what I like about it it's light nice and heavy you know You've got it on your wrist. It's got lots of presence, especially with the gold dials. Absolutely showing off with that. Lug to lug. So going from there to there is obviously 47.5 millimetres as well. The um, the lug width for the bracelet is uh, 22. Let's see if I get my face out of the picture. There we go. That's uh, 22 millimetres. But overall... Yeah, I'm very, very impressed with it. It's a very, for what I paid, which uh, was £135 in the UK, um, which is an absolute steal. And it, it looks the business as well. This is my second steel dive watch that I've got. I've got the uh, 1970 Captain Willard one, uh, which is very nice as well. Oh, also from Steel Dive. But yeah, what's your thoughts on that? I quite like it. It's nice and heavy. Like I said, 210 grams. You know when you got it on your wrist. And it doesn't, when you've got it on your wrist, like I just said there, it's not too obtrusive. It sits there nicely. It doesn't interfere with my clothing. The bracelet doesn't interfere with my clothing. And it sits nicely on, on my wrist as well. I'm very, very happy with this watch. What I'm going to do is... Just going to leave this video here now with you looking at my watch. <laughs> 